The question 8 is to compute integrals using direct computation and rules. Here we have integral problems and you can see there are constants as well. Now these seem to be tricky at times and over here they are just variable t or x, you can have any variable. Now instead of using any rules, I will tell you a shortcut method where only scientific calculator is required. For this shortcut, please remember to follow what I'm saying carefully. It will work for literally any integral problem. It is just that you must follow it correctly. Now, what you need to do first, you need to have the four options. Otherwise, you cannot solve it. You need to know the four options. And this is the MCQ part. You have the four options. So it makes your work very easy. You need to assume stuff. Now, generally, they will ask you only x as the variable. So you can assume the value for x. Now, here, I will assume the value for x, say 1.5. This is what I generally assume almost all the time. When I am solving this, I assume 1.5. You can take it as 1, 2, 3, anything. But sometimes there are very, very rare cases where if you take 1, you may not get the correct answer. So this has happened. I cannot remember the exact you know, question or anything, but there might be a chance where you will not get the correct answer. For this shortcut method, so just use 1.5 and you're using a calculator. You're not going to calculate anything. So it doesn't matter which value you assume. Now, what about this other constant A? You need to give it a value as well. I will take it as 2.5. You can take it as 2 as well. It's fine, but I generally go with 0.5s. Now, what you do is look at the questions, ignore the integrals. See, this integrals are ignored. Only the equation is what we are looking for. Is this clear? You're not going into the integral, all that. You're never going to use the sign, no integral sign at all. We are just going to use differentiation and direct substitution. The equations are over here, right? Type the equation over here. Shift natural logarithm gives you e. What is it? To the power a. What is a? This is for the question, not for the options, the given question. Ignore the integrals and see what is the value of a which, are, which we assumed. It's 2.5. Multiply it with, what do we have? x, 1.5. The answer is 42.52. So write this out. Write at least uh, two, three to four decimals, okay? This is the answer. You don't need to round it off or anything. That's fine. Now then, what you do is, you will have four options. You need to differentiate all the options and then check which gives you this correct answer. Only one option can give you that. Let's start with the second option over here. What I have to do is I have to use differentiation that is shift and dy by dx. Now you need to type this one divided by. Now you cannot put this as the variable. You need to substitute only a. X don't substitute guys X if it is X, right? You should take it as alpha x itself and then you substitute the value at the end, not now. Okay, but if it's a value, you need to substitute its value. It's 2.5. Okay, 1 by a, what is this? e to the power. There is a, that is again 2.5 multiplied by, don't substitute 1.5 1, 1 because your derivative will be wrong. There won't be a variable. You need to press alpha x. Then if you want, you can ignore this multiplication as well, because if you write against each other, it's multiplied already. Now then, there is plus C. I'll ignore it for now. I'll tell you in a minute. And what is the X value? I put it as 1.5. Now, the answer, this, this is what I put. This is the correct answer. Why? Because it matches. Now, if I change this, I'll change it to the next question. Second option. Look here. It was sine 2.5 multiplied by x. Okay, the answer is wrong. But this is what I will get over here. We will come to that in some time. But this is the wrong answer. So similarly, if you solve all the four options, only one option will match to what you got initially by putting the equation as it is with the substitution that whatever matches is the correct answer. Now, one more thing, if you're thinking, what happened to the C? What is the differentiation of constant? Now, let us take 2.5 over here. 
and then we have multiplied by e to the power a is again 2.5 multiplied by x isn't it now it's not over say we add a constant value say 998 and x value is 1.5 we are getting the same answer take any constant value as long as it is constant let me take it as zero the answer is the same why because differentiation of any constant is zero it doesn't make a difference here derive it you right this constant becomes zero itself any value it doesn't impact the answer therefore we can easily use a differentiation technique to trace back what is the integration so this is basically like a converse method you know from the answers you get back the question basically so this is how we solve it so every problem ignore the c value just use the equation derive it at the assumed x value and you should get the answer let's do this again now I will clear it off over here. I will type in this value. 1 by A is assumed to be 2.5. And then over here multiplied with sine A again is 2.5. Multiplied with X that is right alpha and X. That's it. Now you need to close the bracket properly. And what is the X value here? We assumed it to be 1.5. So it should match whatever we okay we have not assumed uh, we have not found this i'll find it out but one thing remember guys this is the wrong answer okay you can get it but it's better to change this to radian mode shift mode four why because trigonometry is involved the answer is supposed to be minus eight zero point eight two zero five five now here I will get no matter what. Now why I'm telling you radian mode is even in degree mode, yes, you will get the answer because we're not looking for the uh, value exactly. But if the value has pi over here, then it's a problem. It will be error. So whenever you see trigonometry, make it to radian mode. Now let me substitute the given question. Only the question, not the integrals. A is 2.5. But here don't leave x as like this you need to substitute the x value 1.5 now let's see what is the answer it must be okay it's 1.5 it must be this answer over here and yes it is so this is how we do integration directly it's so simple so easy just by a calculator but what happens is once you find this value right over here it is 0 0.82055 it's negative you need to do it for all the four options until you match. If the first option matches, that's the answer. Otherwise, go down, try the second, third, and fourth. One will definitely match. Now, if you're wondering how to do this problem, because we have secant here, isn't it? Don't worry, it's just the same. All you need to do is write what is secant. It is 1 by cosine, right? And then 2 times t. Now over here you need to assume a value for t. t is just like x. I will take t as 1.5. I generally take that itself. And now over here for this question you just type it out as it is 1.5. Close the bracket. Multiply it with tan 2t. 2 into 1.5. And now close the bracket. What is the answer? You're getting 0 0.1438. So now it's already in radian so it's fine. Otherwise, you ought to put it in radians and solve it. Write that value, whatever you get over here. I'll just change the color. It's 0 0.14398. Just a few values. Then, now solve this up. How do we solve this? Only this part. It is by shift d by dx. That is the derivative of half. That is 0 0.5. Or you can write 1 by 2. It doesn't matter. Secant. That is again 1 by cosine. Okay, now it's 2. Now don't write t here. Don't write 1.5. It will be a constant, right? Variable x. Close the bracket. What is the x value we consider? It's 1.5. No matter what, it should match this answer. Only one answer will match. All the others will not match. This is how you can easily eliminate the others and have the correct answer. So this is the shortcut method. Let me do uh, the last one. These are all same straightforward problems, just like what we did. Now here, you need to know the options. Otherwise, it's not possible. See, now this is tan inverse, right? Let's do it. Now, everywhere I'm going to assume x value of 1.5, so I'm not going to write it again and again. Now, only this value will be substituted. First, the question. So then it's easy to check which is the correct option. 
So this is it. Now you can write it as x square only directly and then calculate the x square or you can directly substitute over here x as 1.5 squared. It's up to you. For the given question, it's up to you. Then press equal to and now it's 2 by 13. It's easy to remember. So I'll remember this. Okay. What do you do next? Shift dy by dx and write this half that is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 multiplied with tan inverse shift tan inverse x write it as x itself not 1.5 here here at the end you put 1.5 now this plus c doesn't matter you put any value here it will be considered as a constant so i will just show you you put 99 here what's the answer okay now the thing is this is 2 by 3 okay 1.538 it's 2 by 3 let me just remove this constant value. If I even remove it, it's same thing. One zero point one five. What you need to do is, whenever you solve the uh, given question, right? Don't write it in fractions. I got one by thirteen or something. Write it in decimal itself. Now I will show you two divided by thirteen is the same thing. See one point three or five three eight and so on. So this is how we can easily find and solve the answers for any integral problem as long as the options are given. That's the end of the question 8 and we will do the same method for all the other integrals as well.